Hello! In this video today I'm going to demonstrate exactly how you go about failing over a physical store simple device to a virtual appliance should disaster strike. So to begin with what we'll do we'll log on to our Azure portal uh, which we've got just here and we shall browse into the store simple section just on the left hand side And we'll browse into our manager and if we go into the devices tab here we can see both of our devices pre-configured so we've got our physical device on the top which is an 8100 and our virtual device at the bottom so in order to begin the failover the physical device generally wouldn't say online at this point but for demonstration purposes we've left it online and to begin the failover, we'll simply just click the failover button located towards the bottom. So the first menu we're given is where we can choose which volume containers we'd actually like to fail over to our virtual device. So I'm just going to do the one for now. So I'll highlight that and next. On the next page, it will simply give you a brief overview of what volumes actually reside within that volume container their size and the total capacity for all of the volumes. Then what you have to do is you have to choose a target device. So obviously if you had multiple virtual devices, you can fail over to any on that given list. So we've only got the one, so we'll choose that and continue. And then on the last page, we just have to confirm the failover process. So at the bottom, there is a checkbox just to confirm the volumes are offline. Generally speaking, in a disaster, they would be offline anyways. It would mean your device is completely out of order. So because our device is online, I have just manually taken those volumes offline for now, just so we don't incur any data loss or any issues along the way. So once we've confirmed that, we can simply complete the wizard. So that will now go away and it will create the job to initiate the failover. So if we click the view job button towards the bottom, that will take us into the jobs view of the manager. And as you can see, the device failover is there, it's running. I'm going to shorten the sequence just so it's a bit quicker for the video. And there we have it, that's now complete. And if we hit the details button on the bottom, that will give us a bit more information of exactly what it's done in that process and how long it took. So at the top, you can see it's created the storage account credentials. It's transferred any of the volume containers and the backups. It's restored those volumes. It's created the ACRs and it's also created the backup schedules, which we did have defined on those volume containers so it will continue to back it up whilst it's failed over. The time it's taken, it's only taken two minutes, I mean there's not a lot of data but it doesn't take long at all whether it be a few gigs or a few terabytes to migrate across or to fail over. So obviously now that's failed over, the ACRs that it creates are the same as what were given to those volume anyway so the volumes will now be presented to the same iSCSI targets. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go in and change those. To do that, what we'll have to do is browse to the virtual device. And we'll have to browse into the volume container and we'll see the one which we've just failed over just there at the top. And we'll have to click into that. And for each volume, you just have to hit the modify button towards the bottom. And we can ignore the first page. The first page is just going to be a general modification setting. So whether you wanted to change the name or the size or anything else. So for now, we'll just proceed to the next stage. And here it is where it'll ask for that ACR for the volume. So we're going to change that from the old physical on-site server to an Azure server, which we've got running in the cloud. So we'll change that and we'll complete the setup wizard. That will now go away and it'll update the ACR for that volume so we can now see that volume in our Azure VM. That won't take long at all, so that's going to be complete just now. 
now that that's done, all we have to do is we can browse to our Azure VM. I've already set up this server to have access to the store simple virtual device. So all it's going to require is in within disk management, we can simply just run a rescan of the disks. It will go away, query the iSCSI store simple, and it will find that disk. And all we have to do is right click, turn the volume online, and that's it. We now have that volume there ready to use in an Azure VM all in the cloud, all very quickly. Very, very simple process, which is what we want of a DR scenario. So as I've mentioned, you will have to change the ACRs for all of the volumes just so you can map them through to a server you've got running within Azure. Obviously, you can have those presented back to your hosts if you had a, an adequate VPN set up between Azure and your local site. Um, that's generally not recommended just because of the performance hit you'll take going down that route. So generally you're best off just adding that into an Azure VM, getting it all set up there and you'll be up and running in no time. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple and straightforward process and the failover between a physical store simple device to a virtual device is complete. Thank you very much.